Okay, so today Wendy and I are making a cedar, cedar. snake rail fence and um, yeah. Nice, nice she she just got 48 of these. This is Western Red Cedar, and she's putting them in front of her little studio over there. And because uh, it, it looks more natural, a lot of these have moss on them. So she, like I say, she got a dump truck load of them today. Oh, which and don't mind the moss because it looks no nailing. Work, no, yeah, yeah, this one's got woodpecker holes in it, which yeah. is even more awesome. So let's grab one. One of those. And I'll follow. Oh, those are big. Miss T got that one. Okay, we'll just do one. So we're going to show you how to put these things together if you've never made a snake rail fence before. Do it yourself. We have a snake rail fence in front of the lower property there. No it's been there. Holes. No, I don't want it. It's pretty hard to dig holes. You see these arbutus trees? That's growing in rock. It's all rock here. All that rock comes out of the ground. So we're going to put this. Where do you want to put this one? Right here? Uh, or do you want to do on the other side? So we're going to go six high. Yeah. I don't really want that one here. Okay, let's put it over on the other side. I could put it here. I don't mind. No, you can't put it there. You can't we put. Gotta still put one in between. So let's go grab another one. Okay, dropper. I was gonna. Okay. okay. Let's get one with some moss. On. I want to show you how we put these guys together. So we're going right along the whole front of this okay. garden here. We're gonna keep the deer out. We're gonna go six high. Because deer are a pain in the rear. Six. Six high. Might have to do a little thing of wire at the top. They too. smell really nice. They do, don't they? Here's one here. This one's pretty chopped up. Okay, that's good. Okay, grab it. And the nice thing about cedar, it's got natural oils in it, so it lasts forever. These things will last a hundred years out there. These are old trees that were laying down in the forest that a friend cut up and we got from him. So, yeah, he does firewood and he sells cedar rails. Which way you want to go? Where are we going? Well, you're going to go here. I'm trying no, to... I'm trying to face this out. Yeah, I'm going to swivel it like that. Oh, I see. Okay. I got you. I got you. Okay. And then you just place it like that and put it sideways. Yeah. Like that. For now, we're not... Okay, so this is, gonna... this is how a snake rail fence goes together. You see, they just kind of fit together. But on this side, I'm going to cut blocks of cedar. To raise them up. To raise them up, to space them. And then that's sitting on a rock. And yeah, so every contact we're, point we're, we're gonna put a rock under there or a brick. brick. I could get some rocks, I'll go down below the property and get some and a rock there okay, where they contact. Okay. And then we gotta put a spacer in there too. So this one here, uh, it could be out, yeah. Uh, here, I'll get that. Salal, okay. do you want to face it out? Yeah, it doesn't really okay, matter. So. Break it up a little bit. Nice shot of her hiney. All right. And that's what a snake so rail fence right is taking three shape. High. Three high. And then there's yeah. more over here too. So looking pretty good. All right. Thanks for watching. That's how to do her folks.